and welcome to Kids Corner. Sir Winston and I have been looking at our window because it's getting near time to change it. And it was this week the letter P. So P was for Pharaoh and pyramids. And Winston was asking about that. And I said it was from a time in Egypt. Uh, the Pharaohs were quite a long time ago. And Sir Winston remembered something. He remembered that there was a story about Joseph and his coat of many colors. And when we left Joseph in his story, he had been sold to a caravan that was heading to Egypt. So Sir Winston was wondering, what happened to Joseph? And so I think it's time for us to start telling the story about Joseph and his many adventures. Joseph's brothers had sold him to a caravan on its way to Egypt. When the caravan arrived, Joseph was bought by Potiphar, who was captain of the guard and one of the Egyptian king, or Pharaoh's, officials. Joseph was a slave in Potiphar's household. God was with Joseph, and Joseph had success in everything he did. Potiphar noticed this and made Joseph his attendant. Joseph was eventually put in charge of his household and everything he owned. As Joseph was blessed, so was Potiphar, as his house and fields did well. Joseph did such a good job that Potiphar left Joseph in charge of everything. The only thing Potiphar concerned himself about was the food that he ate. Joseph had grown into a handsome man. And this was noticed by Potiphar's wife, who said to Joseph, Come to bed with me. Joseph said, No, I cannot do such a wicked thing and sin against God. But Potiphar's wife did not accept this answer and kept nagging Joseph. Joseph got to the stage where he tried not even to be in the same place with her. Then one day he was in the house doing his duties and there was no servants around. Potiphar's wife came up and grabbed his cloak and said, Come to bed with me. Joseph managed to get out of his cloak, leaving it in her hands, and ran out of the house. She was angry, and she called the household servants and told them a big lie. She told them that Joseph had come to sleep with her, but when she screamed for help, he left the cloak beside her and ran away. When Potiphar came home, she told him that story, and Potiphar became very angry. Death was the expected punishment if such a thing had occurred, but Potiphar had Joseph put in prison where the king's prisoners were kept. Poor Joseph. Don't you think that for him it seemed like things were going from bad to worse? And it really wasn't fair what happened to him. And you know, I'm sure there's times that you feel like things happen to you that aren't fair either. But through everything, God was with Joseph and helped Joseph. And I think that that's something that we should remember when things aren't fair. That God is with us and God will help us. Shall we have a little prayer together? Let's bow our heads and if you repeat after me, loving God. Thank you for being with us. Help us to make things fair for everybody. Help people be safe. Help me to be kind and look after your world. Amen. And we'll see you next time at Kids Corner.